Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 6. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Are you there now? Praise God. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according to God, according as God has dwelt to every man the measure of faith. Thank you, Jesus. For as we have many members in one body, sorry, so being, so we being made many are one body in Christ, and every one members of another. Together, having then gifts different according to the grace that is given unto us. Whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of our faith. Praise God. And the hymn this morning is 294. All in him. Everything we need is in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah.
Halleluja. 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 And if you believe that it's all in him, can we just give some praises unto our God, whose name is Jesus, wonderful counselor. Hallelujah. Can you just wave your hands all across this auditorium? Offer up some praises unto our God, who is king and is great and worthy and wonderful and just worthy of all our praise. Hallelujah. There is none like him. There will never be any like him. We lift you up, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Saints of the Most High God, you know the God that you serve. You know the God that we believe in. You know the God who have snatched you from a wretched life. Snatch me from a wretched life. Hallelujah. And we owe it all to him. His name is Jesus. He's the only true wise God. There is no other God beside King Jesus. Neither before. And we make no apology. And for this we glorify his great name. Can somebody just worship this great God with me? Hallelujah! Indeed he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Lift him up a little bit more. Lift him up a little bit more. Lift him up. Choir, lift him up a little bit more. Hallelujah. Oh, God, help me. Help me, Lord. Not just to worship you with my lips, but from my heart, from the very core of my being. I want to bless your name because you are worthy. You are worthy. I'll tell it to the day I die that you are worthy, King Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The world must know it and we can tell it. Hallelujah. 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 Oh God, I love you, Lord. I exalt you, King Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, if you check people nowadays, them tell you nothing is happening. But if you are a Holy Ghost filled child of God, everything is happening. You better believe that. Because he's more than enough. That is more than enough for me. I don't know about you, but for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We can worship him this morning. Because that's what we're here for, to worship him. When, when people ask me why I go to church on a Sunday, I say, I go to fellowship with my brethren and just worship King Jesus. Hallelujah. I go to worship. Hallelujah. Glorify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, you know, I look at something recently, and I believe that I, I don't think it was out of ego or self. Just give me a few. That Jesus did all the miracles that he did. And I look at it, and I think the reason why Jesus did all the miracles that he did was to indicate to me that, you know, the things that you look at as impossible, you know, I can do it. You know, I can do it. And he not just said that he could do it, but he did it. Yeah. And sometimes when I look back on my life and recognize what I was before I met Jesus, that is a miracle. That is, that is a miracle. Think about it. When I look on the wretchedness that was at the tip of my heart before I met Jesus, Brother Aze, that is a miracle. Think about where you're coming from and what God has done for you. Isn't that a miracle? Some of us used to utter things like a somisty, I'm in a change. But Sister Nurse, you can't speak a different language now. No, that's a miracle. That's a miracle. He passed the daily. The amount of situations that reach your life. And you'll probably think about giving up. And look at you today. You owe it to Jesus. That's a miracle. Think about it. Jesus did it in your life to prove to you that it can be done. I, in my mind, I think he deserved the glory. When we look at our beloved brother John, the only way to describe it is, boy, the doctor then butcher him. But look at him today. He's on his knee praying. No, that's a miracle. It is a miracle. It is a miracle. Think about it. It is a miracle. Sister Nikisha, help me sing this song. 
because he deserved the glory. Hallelujah. You deserve the glory. This is King Jesus that we're singing to. And all the honor. Let us worship. So we lift our hands. He did it for you. Worship as we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we glorify your name, Jesus. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. As it, it is the power of God unto salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You know, we have a special set of people among us this morning. And I, I believe with all my heart, that had it not been for these special set of people, church wouldn't be the same. So we're going to ask all our visitors this time. And I mean all our visitors. You're not a member here. We're begging you. We're beseeching you to stand. Can I have the visitors stand? And if you're sitting beside a visitor, encourage he or she to stand. We're not going to do any harm. We just want to welcome you. This is what we do here. As a family, we, we, we want to welcome you. Visitors, anywhere, everywhere, could you stand? Hallelujah. Pastor Wang, you want to do this honor, sir? Praise the Lord, everyone. We want to say to our visitors, we are so grateful for you to choose Faith Chapel this morning to be the place of worship. And I don't know why you are here, but you know. And the reason why you're here, God can meet that need this morning. There's nothing impossible that you can put to him that he cannot meet it. Amen? We're going to sing a chorus. And as we sing that chorus, saints of God, you know what to do. Go around. You're going to greet them, shake their hand, tell them how welcome they are to Faith Chapel. Amen? There's a, there's a flag flown from the castle of my heart. Love is a flag flowing high. From the castle of my heart, from the castle of my heart, from the castle of my heart.
God, which you bless you, may be seated. We want to say to our membership, of course, you make it possible. And we want to say, don't stop coming. Continue to worship God in spirit and in truth. God, which you bless you. God, any rivers you think are uncrossable. God, any mountains you can't tunnel through. God specializes in things thought impossible. And he can do what no
Lift your hands and worship. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, the, the, the motto of this church is that there is a place for every man, and every man should find his place. You know, that, that used to be little Crystal who used to stand at this front bench here. You know, I don't know what Sister Jennifer did to her some time ago, but she was mad and she said that Jennifer teeth our spirit. And she's here today. Brother John used to up here with her in his hands. I want to encourage you to find your place, man, in God, in the house of God. And you know what I learned? If you think you can't do it, allow God to teach you because he's willing. You are not here just to sit on that bench or at that particular spot. But find your, your, your place in God. Encourage your children to stay in the house of God. Find something to do. There is so much here to be done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, our beloved sister, Hey, she has gone to be with the Lord. And I'm sure that all of us remember Sister Hey. You know, her family is having a little get-together here at Faith Chapel. Over by number two. Fellowship and little eating. And can I say this? All is invited. <laughs> Right, Madam Nurse? All is <laughs> come out and give you support. Sister has been a stalwart here, we miss her, but she's gone to be, a, to be at a better place. No more light bill. I complain about that like crazy. Pastor Daly. I'm sorry, this Friday at seven. This Friday at seven, over by over by number two. Pastor Daly, could you come, sir? Praise God. Come on, we praise the Lord, everybody. Can we praise the Lord, everybody? Praise God. Come on, we clap our hands and just glorify the Lord. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord again to worship him, to lift him up to magnify the king if you love him just because you love him just clap your hands one more time just because you love him oh hallelujah wonderful jesus and i love those old hymns amen i love to see i and i'm going to try to get a hymn book just to practice to sing from it and to walk. But I love to see when we walk around with the hymn books and you're, call, you're called upon and you pull an old hymn. And I know there, this little one, it's an old one, and I'd love for us to sing it together just before I do what it is that I'm going to do. It says, He leadeth me. Oh, precious. Hallelujah. Thoughts. I want everybody to stand. Because this is for all of us. If you don't feel that the Lord is leading you, get into a place quickly. Oh, hallelujah, because he must lead. If you plan to make heaven your home, he must lead. If you plan to walk with him and have him to walk with you. So we are singing this collectively, but it is an individual song. And then as we sing the song, let the words become your prayer. So we are praying, we are singing, we are worshiping, and we are declaring. Amen. Four things we're doing one time when we sing now. We sing, 
we pray we decree and we worship oh hallelujah somebody start worshiping the lord a little bit more before we sing somebody start magnifying the lord in your own way before we sing hallelujah 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 glory 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 come on we sing together yes oh precious Oh God, the with heavenly comfort from. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Whatever, Whatever I do, wherever, wherever I be, mighty God. Just one more time. He leads me. Oh, blessed thoughts. Oh, world with heavenly comfort. Oh, hallelujah. Whatever I do, wherever I be. King Uzziah died I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up and his train filled the temple his train filled the temple above it stood the seraphims each one had six wings with two he covered his face with two he covered his feet and with two he did fly hallelujah and one cried unto another and said holy 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 is the lord of hosts the whole earth is full of his glory and the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried and the house was filled with smoke then flew one of the seraphims unto me having a live coal in his hand which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar and he said and he laid it upon my mouth and said lo this hath touched thy lips and thine iniquity is taken away and thy sin Purged. Also, I heard 
the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I. Send me. Is there anybody in the house that will say, Send me? I'm serious. Is there anybody in the house that if the Lord say, Go to such and such a place, you will willingly say, Send me? Wave your hands to the king, identifying yourself as such a one. Oh, hallelujah. And I give thanks to God for the, heart, the hands that are waving, signaling that you are willing to say, here am I, send me. The Lord laid it on our hearts to go to a place that we don't know. Many of us have been to the U.S. of A. and to Caribbean lands. None of us had ever gone as far as to... Africa. We knew no one, we knew nowhere. And the Lord said to go. And when the call was made, some folks said, I will go. Others said, I will go, but we couldn't go with everybody. Not this trip. But some said, Here am I. Hallelujah send me we want the church this morning to know we want the congregation this morning to know who are these persons hallelujah that have decided to pick up themselves go on a plane three planes to go to a place that they have never been to meet people that they have never met never heard about never seen can i ask every member of the team right now to come stand at the front amen quickly we're going to do it for we go anoint them with oil this morning in jesus name we ask all our leaders we're going to lay hands on them and we're going to send them off in jesus name step out of your seat and come on your way to kenya these are the folks not all preachers not all teachers, not all singers, but there is a place for every man, and every man is moving into place. Saints of the Most High God, amongst this group, and Sister, I don't see Sister Mori, a few might not be here. We are going to be joined by Sister Pat Thomas. We meet in America and we continue on to Africa. Can we declare this morning that there is going to be a fire raging in Kenya? Can we declare this morning that there is going to be a fire that arising from the raging in Kenya is going to burn in Uganda and burn in Tanzania on this trip alone? Do we have some folks who will join their faith with ours? I heard the singer started out, got you any river you think are uncrossable. It's a big river this. 
but it is not uncrossable because I hear the word of the Lord say, put your feet in the water. Just, just stretch out one foot and make it touch the Jordan. And Jordan is going to be dried up. You're going to go over. And so I believe with all of my heart, we agree that this trip is going to be so effective. Souls are going to be born into the kingdom in a way that Africa has never seen it. And it is going to be from this nucleus right here. And it is going to spread right across the regions of Kenya. And I've never been to Kenya. We have never been there. Never been to Africa. And right now, we have somebody that calls practically each day from Kenya. I, talk, I spoke with somebody from Uganda. And there is, a, there is a, a man that got the Holy Ghost and was baptized in Jesus' name. And all he knows to do is say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. For now, that is enough. But we got unto him. And he asked if we could just let him have the bus fare. He will find his way on the bus and on minibus from Tanzania from Tanzania to reach into Kenya and he doesn't want any money for food or anything he just wants bus fare he said God will provide for him along the way in terms of food just he just wants the bus fare because he has heard about it in Tanzania and we didn't we did not send anything to Tanzania but he has heard about it and he wants to be there I believe God and we speak into the atmosphere right now that souls will be born into the kingdom men and women will be baptized in Jesus' name in Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania and the work will go on there will be churches established in Jesus' name Bible schools will be established in Jesus' name we speak it, we believe it we decree it and the word has gone before us. And I don't care what the devil is planning. He will never hinder us. I got up one morning after praying and feeling strong in the Lord. And they told me that they, I, the first thing I saw on the news was that they shot down a plane with a, with a missile. And I said, God, I was wondering what was happening. And then I prayed and felt good again. The next day I hear that another one just left Algeria and just crashed. And uh, it's pure plain thing I hear about from the other day. Like, like Satan was afraid and don't go. No. But is there anybody trembling this morning? If you were, forget it. Let's just believe God. We're going to go on. We're going to anoint them in Jesus' name. And I want all our leaders to come. We're going to lay hands on them. And we're going to pray. You can stand up. You can come around. But we're going to lay hands on them. Sister Tisha, in Jesus' name. You are going to minister to so many young persons. The young people will gravitate to you. The young people will gravitate to Sister Everdeen. You are going to speak to them. You are going to give them words of good counsel. You are going to speak to their hearts. Sister Everdeen is not here, but I anoint you in Jesus' name. You are going to speak to their hearts. You, you work in children's church. Sister Simoy, yourself along with Sister Tisha, and Sister Everdeen, you're going to do a work that those young persons that are there would never have experienced before. And the Lord through you is going to do a mighty, mighty, mighty work. The young people will know of Jesus because they encountered you. And you are going to prepare yourself to minister to every one of these young persons. Sister Kim, and all-rounder. 
You're going to fill in with the young people. You're going to teach home Bible study. You're going to work at the altar. Folks in your hands are going to be born. You're going to be a deliverer in Zion. And they will be born into the kingdom because of the touch that is in your hands. And God will use you to bring that to pass. Sister King, in Jesus' name, yourself and your husband, Deacon King, will teach, will preach. And through your preaching and through your teaching and through your effective ministry, men are going to run to the altars and say, what must we do? And they will receive instructions in the name of the Lord. Sister Daly, you will be leading the charge with the Home Bible Study Group. You will speak strong words to the wives and to the ladies that are there. You will declare to them the word of Almighty God and that there is a place for every man and every man in his place. And because of you, the ladies, especially the ladies, will fall down at the altars and cry out to God and beg God, Lord, how must I serve? God is going to do a mighty work through the teaching that you will present to them. Brother Robinson, in Jesus' name, yourself will join forces with your wife, with Sister Tisha, and with Sister Everdeen, and together you are going to effect that great work in the name of the Lord. Those youngsters will bow, but they are a group above children that are the young folks, the 16-year-olds, the 17s and the 18s, who in Africa have no hope. You are going to be a light to the youngsters. You are going to speak to them in simplicity. They are going to see the humility and the love of God radiating from you. And you are going to speak to them. And young men and young women will step forth and ask, what must we do? Sister Blair. Deacon Blair. Although Brother King is a Sunday school superintendent, he's not going in that capacity. He's going as a firebrand preacher and teacher. But Deacon Blair, you're going to set up Sunday school. And your wife will be at your side. You both will speak to the leadership there. You both will tell them that great Sunday school build great churches. You both will sit and when others are in the church listening to the word and focusing on what's happening, you're going to be aside. Rolling through because of your years of doing this. Letting them understand the value of Sunday school and effective Sunday school. And you're going to do this in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every man has a purpose. Now, when we go there, when we hit the ground, we don't know nothing. We plan a whole lot. And it means a lot. But it also means nothing. It means a lot. But it also means very little. Because when our feet touch the ground, if the Lord says, this is it, we put on the paper, and that's why when he says, here am I, send me, it means forget the plan and just go. Saints of the Most High God, I'm going to ask Rev just to come put some oil on my head. Because I want to be anointed too. In Jesus' name. Timothy. 
they are going to see a young man who has the world before him and he could be a scholar or he could be a careers man and yet he has dedicated himself to the word to teaching and preaching the word he leaves an expecting wife all because of the word when you open your mouth to preach my God when you open your mouth to teach they are going to see youth and they are going to see the love of God and they are going to bow their knees and say what must I do to be saved what you have been anointed for you don't have to do it but it's going to fall right into your laps whether you accept it or not and you are going to do that in Jesus name Sister Palmer is not here Sister Kerry and Palmer but I anoint you Sister Palmer wherever you are in Jesus name you will work very closely with Sister Kim you see we know all the preachers and teachers but there are some things that God does that goes beyond preaching and teaching and I don't know why God asks for such a mix but God knows what he's doing oh hallelujah and I lay hands on you sister Kerry and you will work to lay hands you will work to work at the altars move at the altars and youngsters will be born into your hands sister small is not here I anoint you, Sister Small, in Jesus' name. I probably should turn. I anoint all of those who are not here in Jesus' name. When you open you, your mouth, God Almighty, just the key that she starts in, let it minister healing to broken hearts in Kenya, in Voy. And those are the areas that will go. Every word of every song will carry through the atmosphere and will reach a heart. And those that are not moved by the word in preaching, those that are not moved by the word in teaching, will be moved because of the key and the words of a song. And we are now in Sister Marsha to sing. Sing at the beginning. Sing during the services. Sing in altar service. And I pray that God touch your voice. That it never gets hoarse. If it is the way of men for it to get hoarse, then let it get hoarse when we are done. And we will allow you some olive oil or sweetie on the plane back but for the time that we are there will be done it will come to pass it will happen for it is the word of the lord oh can we praise the lord rev please We're going to ask our leaders to grab some mics. Hallelujah. Bring some mics. We're going to be praying. Hallelujah. Just before the leader, leaders pray for us, we 
anoint in Jesus name Minister Winston Rowe we anoint in Jesus name Deacon Leroy Batiste two more that's coming with us not here this morning and sister Pat Thomas who's gonna meet us in America we anoint you in Jesus name Brother Roe will speak into the atmosphere. Brother Roe will take on all the enemies that will try to run into us. He will be looking around and he will be surveying. The Lord has already told me that there are about three men that will be walking with us. So I am praying still. I'd love to get a glimpse of who they are. But we have some bodyguards that as we step off the plane, they are going to be joining us. They would be with us as we go, but as we step on the ground, they will form ranks and we will be marching with bodyguards. And so we are covered. But while we are there, look around, Brother Roe, and pray 24 hours. Pray through and through because you will be getting that eyes open that you can see what's happening around and speak specifically to some threats that will come. Threats are going to come in our brethren. We're not going just like that. I saw a prayer request that says, pray that nothing happens and that everything works smoothly. But I didn't pray that prayer. It's not going to happen, so. Going rough. The mind shake up all the bus. But we're going to go and we're going to preach in Jesus' name. The Brother Baptiste, you're going to be specially anointed to walk around every service. All we want you to do, in addition to your teaching or preaching, is to keep your hands up and walk around the service. Walk down the aisles. Walk, come back up. Walk down the other side because your hands have been specially touched for God to just his thing from them and by virtue of your worship he moves to do, to do what it is that we have set out to do brother Baptiste you are going to be specially anointed so keep your hands up one prophet was asked to lay on his side for weeks for days and after him get tired God said lay on the other side so for just two weeks to keep your hands up every night at the service no big task, and God is going to use you with those hands being raised continually to bring about great miracles in the place that we are going to be. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Your heart is at the right place, Sister Pat. And you are going to be anointed to teach. You are going to teach the little ones, the mid-range, the big ones. You are going to go to a place that many would be scared to go. And in your simple way, you, are going, you have a brave heart and you're just going to go and you're just going to teach. And through those words, men will bow their knees to the living God. We speak it into being. It will happen. Let's prepare our hearts in Jesus' name. Where are the mics? Praise God. going to ask everybody to bow their head, everybody in prayer. It's not spectator at this time. Everybody going to be past the beating. Let's call out unto God. 
Great God, Holy Father, Holy Father. we humble our hearts and our soul before you. There is none like you, Lord. From the rising of the sun to the going down the same. Lord, you have instructed it, Lord. You have pronounced it, Lord, and it is so. God, we have heard your cry. We have heard your voice. God, and for those that have obeyed, Lord Jesus, at this time, oh God, in the name of on this missionary journey, oh God, we pray, oh God, that you may go before them, Lord Jesus. We pray, oh God, that you perfect will be unfold, battle, Lord Jesus. Because this battle Each and every individual, you, Lord, oh the role God, that they pray. have to play, Hallelujah, the that destiny every that you have given for them to Kenya, fulfill in their life at this time. And you we pray Canada for the ancient. Be bound we pray for the anointing. So everlasting. We pray for and the manifestation. Gospel, we pray for prophetic utterance. We pray for healing, virtue, Lord. Men, we women, pray a God and for those, Lord Jesus, that, that will minister. Will be they will minister with, with such your anxiety spirit and you such anointing, O oh God. In your Lord, we pray for a refreshing, God. Lord. Touch we your pray for those that will hear that the word. Have chosen. Those that will Baptize hear the word. We pray, oh God, that with God, with the Holy Ghost and power to your Heavenly word, Father, Lord Jesus. Go we pray. before them. We pray go for victory, Lord them. Jesus. Go up above we pray, oh them. Be God, a friend. Empower your people. My God, all in around them. This battle angels, my God. Lord Jesus, Hallelujah. we pray for a demonstration of the power of Almighty God. To stand guard round about of yeah, your healing virtue, oh of God, faith unfolding, Lord I Jesus, in the name of like Jesus. never been before. Let your power God, be resident, pray, Lord, oh God, go before us, to Lord. heal and go to Uganda. deliver. Let go your power Kenya, be Lord upon Jesus. them. Let go the dunamis flow Jesus. through their hands. Your will, Lord, when and they your purpose, speak, Lord Jesus. my God, let we even God, the dead be caused to come forth. Hallelujah to your name. That Let the lame be God, made Lord to Jesus, walk. We pray. Restore sight to the blind. Fulfill, Lord, Stop the deaf ear. All for your glory, O oh God. Hallelujah. Lord this Jesus, journey, pray. this voice be, is Lord, for Lord. your glory. Let it not unto us, O oh Lord. Let it be not unto us, Lord. but unto thy name. Every Bible Give study, glory. Lord Jesus. Give glory. Every Give glory. Every Bible study, O oh God. Your servants we again. pray for our harvest, Lord. We pray for our Lord Jesus, for this Harvest, journey, Lord, that you have given me, Lord Jesus. If your presence the laborers of unto, Lord Jesus, will not and they have heard your grow, voice, Lord Jesus, Lord God. and these, though they be few, Lord, in numbers, Lord, and show we know, forth your Lord, glory. that then show forth your glory. One shall show a thousand, show forth your glory. ten thousand, show forth your glory. How much these, Lord Jesus, we pray. Show forth We pray for the number, Lord. We pray for the nation. We pray for the leaders. Leaders of those nations, Lord Jesus. Show forth the leader of Kenya, Lord, the president. We pray for the president of Uganda. We pray for the president of Tanzania. We pray, O oh God, that they may receive your ambassadors, Lord. And somehow, Lord, they may encounter them, Lord. And a manifestation of the holy anointing may be known to the heads of those nations, Lord. Have it your way, Lord Jesus. As we take command, Lord Jesus, over these three nations right now. We bind the strong man of these nations, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ against them, Lord. We plead your blood against them, Lord. We bind them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Release in the atmosphere the holy anointing. Have it your way, we pray. In Jesus' name we ask. In Jesus' name we ask. Touch your servants as you lead them, Lord Jesus. Grant him a special anointing, glory, Lord Jesus. And we tell you Grant him vision and insight to lead your in people. The name of Jesus from greener Christ pastor to greener pastor. Have it your name. way. In oh, Jesus' name you. we pray. Give thank him apostolic Jesus. authority, Lord Jesus, we oh, pray. Thank you, Jesus. Have it your way, Lord Jesus, we ask. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Everybody say, in Jesus' name. Just one more time. One more time. 
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That deliverance that you're praying about. That breakthrough that you are waiting on. Whatever it is you need from Almighty God. We're here to encourage you this morning that he is going to bring you out. He is. Don't waver. But just believe and hold on because Almighty God is going to bring you out. Hallelujah.
Praise God. I ask everybody to stand at this time. Amen. God bless you, that brother Donaldson. We recognize you in the house this morning, sir. The Lord richly bless you. Visiting with us from is it Canada? Amen. The Lord bless you. Good to have you. Good to have you in the house again, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. And we greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We thank God for his presence in our midst. We thank him for what he is doing in our midst. Amen. Can the church just lift your hands to heaven? your hearts, your eyes, and everything, and just wave and worship the great God of gods, the great King of all kings. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Amen. In this atmosphere of worship, where the presence of the Lord is, where we feel him in a very strong way. Amen. In this atmosphere, we invite a man that loves the Lord. A man that himself has said over and over, here am I, Lord, send me. Hallelujah. A man that loved the word. Amen. We declared over those that were here, those who go and teach, and those who go and teach Bible study and all. But this is a man that loves to teach. And I must declare to us today, he was my home Bible study teacher. And I'm in church today because of the lessons learned, because of the words imparted to me. And I invite this man that loves God so much to come and to minister the word to our hearts. Rev, God bless you, sir. Come minister, Pastor Wong, as you feel led of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you, Pastor Daly. Have your Bible turn quickly before you're seated to the book of Acts, chapter 28. The song that the choir sing is most appropriate for that which I'm about to speak to you about. <clears throat> Acts chapter 28, verse 1 and 6 to 6. And it said, And when they escaped, then they knew that the island was called Melita, which is Malta today. That's the island of Malta in the Mediterranean. And the barbarous people show us no little kindness. For they kindle a fire and receive us, everyone, because of the present rain and because of the cold. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid it on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. And when his barbarians saw the venomous beast hanging on his hand, they said among themselves, No doubt. This man is a murderer, whom though he had escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffered not to live. And he, Paul, shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Albeit they looked when they would have swollen, 
or fallen down dead suddenly, but after they looked a great while, they saw no harm come to him. They changed their mind and said that he was a God. Ref, could you pray God blessing on his words and on Great God, our Father in heaven, we thank you that you are in this house. Hallelujah. We thank you, great God, that you are in this place. We feel you. We sense you. We know that you are here, and we thank you. Lord, your servant stands at this time to declare the words of the living God. Of himself, he can do nothing. Mere flesh, mere dust. But we know that when the Spirit of the Lord is upon humankind, the anointing makes the difference. We pray right now, great God Almighty, that you will reach down from heaven above. We pray that the hand of the Lord will be upon our, your servant right now. I pray that you will touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. I pray that you will anoint him every whiff as he opens his mouth to speak the words of the living God right now. God, touch him in a very special way. That fire will issue from his mouth and that fire will reach to the hearts of those who are in the house this morning. That we will hear, but not only hear, but that we will be moved to do what thus said the Lord. Anoint him very specially, I pray. Lord, we recognize that with the move of God, hindering spirits are going to present themselves to try to stop the move of God and to try to hinder the word of the living God. But right now we come against every hindering spirit and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will grant free course, that your words will go forth and that your words will accomplish in the house this morning. So have your own way, we pray. Let your perfect will be done and let your power be established right now in this place. Have it your own way. Take full control and let your servants speak unfettered, unhindered, and let the power of God fall. In Jesus' name we pray and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You may be seated. Three other places the word viper been used. Matthew chapter 3 and verse 7, John the Baptist speaking to a group of people that somehow he had never called their attention to him. But they called his attention to them. So he said, but when he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees come to be baptized, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come. John was addressing the Pharisees and the Sadducees that somehow they were pricked in their heart and they were seeking salvation. Matthew chapter 12 and verse 34, Jesus himself talking, he said, O generation of vipers, how can ye being evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Matthew 28 and verse 3, he said, Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye accept, escape the damnation of hell? This morning, I read earlier, Acts chapter 28 and verse 1 through to 6. He said many a times, after a storm, there is a calm. But for whatever reason here, it wasn't the case. Paul had just came through a storm. They were about to kill the prisoner when Paul spoke to the captain and said, the God that I serve warned me by an angel tonight that no soul will be lost. You can throw over all the goods, but you don't need to throw over any prisoner 
because no soul would be lost. It didn't say that the ship wouldn't be wrecked, but it said no soul would be lost. The ship wrecked, and so they all came ashore. And when you think that it would be all over, you ever have a problem or a situation in your life that you've been battling all night, sometime all here around, and it seemed like it never gonna be over. And the moment you seem to caught a break, and you said to yourself, this is it. I finally came through the storm. I finally came through all that I've been through, the trials, through the temptation, the obstacles. I'm over it now. And just as you're about to relax, then come a viper. I said, then come a viper. I said, shake the devil off. I don't care what your situation is. Shake the devil off. Shake the devil off. It's going to take faith. It's going to take works. For faith without works is dead. As works without faith is dead. It's going to take both of them to accomplish it. Paul could have looked on the viper and said, what is this? And begin to question, God, why me? Poor me. What have I done to deserve this? Look, I thought I would be saved from the ship. No, I'm safe and I'm on land and I think it's over. Here it is still happening to me. No, we never read anything like that. I'm speaking to somebody. My message is not going to be long. I guarantee it's not going to be long. I have many characteristics I could tell you about the snake. There are 200 different types of vipers. And they're found all over the world. Except for two places, Australia and Antarctica. But other places, even in the snow, these vipers have been found. You have the pit viper. You have the ground viper. You have the ones that are in the tree. So it doesn't seem like anywhere you go, they're always around you. I said the viper is at your feet. The viper is at your hand. The viper is in your neck. But I said we serve a living God that tell us that we can walk on serpents, that we can walk on viper. So we have the power to shake it off in the fire. I just want to speak to you about three types of viper. I said there are 200 different types. But in the spiritual realms, I'm just taking out three types of vipers. They are found in an unexpected place. And many a times when you think that you could get away from them and you change your position and you change your location and you think, I'm, I'm, I'm getting over it. You know, if I change my position, I won't find any viper here. I won't find them inside my closet. I won't find them inside my room. I won't find them inside my bedroom, nor my living room. So you know what? I'm going to stay at home. You know those hypocrites that are vipers? Hello? You don't have no hypocrites. I encounter hypocrites in the house of God. Jesus describing the same Sadducees and Pharisees. He said, ye whitewashed sepulchers, ye hypocrites. And so sometimes your brother is your viper. I'm in a perfect church this morning. Thank God. Rev, there's no viper in this church. It's a perfect church. But I'm not going to be even stopping there. I would like to deal with some vipers that affect everybody. Financial viper. Anybody can bear with me? You, you throw your little partner, 
and you said, I'm planning to do so and so with it. And so you're happy that this week is the draw week. But when you get there, the banker tell you, said, next week. So that's one disappointment, a viper of disappointment. But then you said, all right, it's not too bad. It's next week. But then you said, this is to buy the children books, pay the school fee, the children uniform, and to start out the first week. I don't know how they manage after that. But I have that to take care of. But lo and behold, you get the partner draw. Next thing, JPS. Cut off the light. Power cut. Not that you hold them anything, you know. It's a power cut, it lit the fridge. It's the little fridge you have selling the little chicken back, you know. That you can pay the little partner. So if the fridge get lick, the business get lick. The financial viper just tuck on your hand. Every time that you say you're gonna do something with this money, something happen. I said it's time to shake him off. Yes, Rev, I'm a financial viper. But them didn't have no hypocrite. Hypocrites. But let me tell you, brethren, it always can be identified. You can identify with me. It's not one time. It's not two times. It just seems to happen every time. But can we breathe a prayer right now for that viper? That viper of finance. That viper of economy. That destroying the economy. Your personal economy. I don't business with the economy out there. No. I business with the people of God. I'm talking about the people of God. Paul didn't business with anybody else when the viper beat him. He had to deal with Paul himself. Let us be the word of prayer. Just lay your hand on your brother. Come on, just lay your hand on your brother. Pray for your brother right now. Begin to pray right now. We're going to break it. We're going to break it. We're going to shake the devil off this morning. I said shake, 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 shake the devil off. Just three viper I'm giving to you. You have some viper that are infectious. They're infectious. Some spiritual infirmities. It's nothing that the lady did, you know. Jesus Christ looked at her and said, you have a sickness. You have an infirmity. But this infirmity is not because you didn't eat right. You follow the health program. You exercise when time to exercise. You eat when you're supposed to be eating. But you know, you have a spiritual infirmity. Infectious vipers. And they cling on to that lady for 18 years, the Bible said. She have that infirmities. That she bend. The Bible said she bend when she walk. You could see the burden. You could see the stress. That viper was holding on to her. But when Jesus come her way. When the deliverer passed that day. Yes sir. She rise up. And she shake. And she shake. Until the infirmities. That was in her back was straight. The pain that she was feeling, it's gone. I'm saying to you, there's a viper that is trying to destroy our health. Come on, pray for somebody. Will somebody pray for Uncle C right now? 
Will somebody pray for Pastor Grizzle right now? Will somebody pray for Brother John Wong right now? There are people that are among us. It's not so much that we have done that which is wrong. We didn't smoke a cigarette. We haven't drink liquor. But somehow we are suffering from all of those symptoms. It's a spirit. It's a viper. I blood them up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over them right now. Some of us die before our time. The Shudamite son. God gave her the son according to how he promised by his servant. So why God would take that son? But that spirit. The man of God went inside. Certain Spirit can't deal with certain spirit. So Joe, he sent Gersiah, and Gersiah, his servant, pray. He couldn't get it done. So the man of God came in, and the Bible said, he closed the door. And after he closed the door behind, he lay. Sometimes you have to frustrate before God. You have to frustrate before God. Listen. We are losing our young people. And sometimes it's not a physical debt. It's a spiritual debt. It's time we take them back. Take back what the devil take from us. I said shake the viper off. Shake the viper off. We have a viper of stagnation. A viper of stagnation. What viper is this? It's those that have backslide. God warned Judas. Jesus warned him. The Bible said that he spoke to him. And only he alone knew what Jesus said. But being that he was self-willed and determined that he was going to betray Jesus... Jesus went on to say, Son of man, whatsoever thou doest, do it quickly. And the Bible said many of them thought that he meant for him to go and have bread. Because he was the one that carried the bag. He carried the money bag. He was the treasurer. So they thought he was saying to him, go and buy bread. Demas, who was with the beloved physician and Paul. Paul write again and said, Demas, who has forsaken me for this present world. Listen, we can't sit still and let our brethren go through the gates. You never know, it could be your wife next. It could be your husband next. It could be your son next. It could be your daughter next. Or it could be you. Hello. We need to pray, saints of God. We need to pray. Pray, saints, pray. You see, the world is looking on. And the world is expecting that the church is supposed to fold her hands. Now that we are living in a time where the viper of homosexuality is trying to creep in into the church. If they would behave themselves and stay on the outside, but they are not doing that, they are attacking the body of Christ. They determine that they're going to make havoc in the body of Christ. But I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. I said, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. I am not careful what they want to do in Parliament. 
that their house, but this house, this house is the house of my father. He said, you have made my father's house a den of thieves. And he wasn't in any argument that morning. Not that day. The Bible said he got him some card. And he began to plot it. And maybe, I don't know, he may be women. Take my father's house to be a house of den of thieves. When I done with you this morning. When I done with you today. Then you will know which place you have among me, devil, and your host. And the Bible said when he was true plotting it, he put it on. You know who the master is. I said, shake the viper off. Shake the viper off. Plead the blood, saints. Plead the blood, saints. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm closing. I tell you I wasn't going to be long. Listen to me. There's a wicked viper. A viper that the Bible tells us when you find those that make league or allegiance with them, we shouldn't talk to them. We shouldn't eat with them. Bible says we shouldn't sit with them. Because this viper is a wicked viper. Is a deadly viper. Venomous viper. The Bible said, lest any root of bitterness spring up in you. That's the viper. It make a root of bitterness take inside of you. And it begin to spring up into you. And thereby defile some. A little bit. Many. Many. You know what that viper wanted to do? Eat your brother. Come on now. Look at your brother. Look at your sister. That's what this viper wants you to do. Eat your brother. Yes, he hurt me. Then he never get hurt out of the street too. When you don't, they never have hypocrite out there too. Hello? Hello? You don't still have hypocrite out there. You still don't have enemy out there. But you know what? You want to cause division among the brethren. You want to cause this illusion. And so, when we come to the house of God, I don't sit down over there because she sit down there. He might look cross for me and he think I look upon him. I don't have no time for him. Let me just look up to my God. Brethren, it sounds like a joke, but it's happening in the house of God. By this shall all men know that he are my disciple. Love one another. You get robbed, love one another. Then tell life on you, love one another. Hey, them do your things where you never say you say. I'd say things where you never say you say. Come on, love one another. Shake off the viper of hatred. Last but not least, the viper of hatred. It comes. Uh -huh. Pastor said for pray. Call him. Him no need prayer. She would have never pray for she because God not going answer my prayer for she. You are God. No, you reasoning for God. No, you answering for God. Huh? Come on. Love one another. He said, Simon. Simon. Lovest thou me more than these? Simon, Simon, 
Lovest thou me more than these? Three times Simon denied him. And three times he called back Simon to his fold. He was saying to Simon, with all that you have done, Simon, I love you. I love you. Would you all stand right now? And say, brethren, those that do not know what I'm talking about, the baptism of the Holy Ghost is for you too. It's the baptism of love. I remember the first person, the first street service we had at Reaper's Road. And it was a young lady, Rev, that was a Seventh-day Adventist. And she said she wanted Bible study. And when I went there for Bible study, she refused it. And I turned and I saw a sister that is who presently here now. And I said, will you have Bible study with me? And she said, yes. But then she said, I want to ask you a question. If I have Bible study with you, do I have to talk to her? I said, yes. She said, no, me hit her like poison. And she said, I can't deal with her. I don't talk to her. I said, okay, I understand. I don't know your pain. I don't know what you're going through. But let's have the Bible study. By the time we got to baptism, she baptized in Jesus' name. She got the infilling of the Holy Ghost. She was inviting the person to come here. Instead of, I have to walk all the way to go there. She was the one trying to, to get here. Listen to me, when the love of God is abounding in your soul. Nothing, nothing can take it away. Nothing. No marriage, no husband, no wife, no children, no money. No money. Let us love one another. Come on, find somebody right now. Find a brethren right now, saints of God. Come on, get out your seat. Find somebody. Somebody who you never prayed before. before. Not your friend. Not your friend. Mm -mm, not your friend. Find somebody you never pray for yet. You never pray for them. Find somebody. We're going to shake the devil off this morning. We're going to do something practical this morning. I said we're going to shake the devil off. Find somebody. Somebody you never pray for yet. Everybody have a partner? Let's cry out to God right now. Everybody, everywhere. Love one another. 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 If you can't live with them down here, you're not going to be able to live with them up there. Love one another. Love one another. Cry out. Thou inhabitants of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of us. Cry out this morning. Unsaved, you need to be saved. You need to be baptized in his name. 
You need the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Love one another. Love one another. It's the most prevalent of vipers eating one another, eating one another, eating one another. The most prevalent of vipers love one another, love one another. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mighty God, we thank you for your words this morning. Mighty God that your servant have delivered. We have heard and your people now pray one for the other. I lift my hands right now and I pray for every saint, every unsaint, un unsaved in the house right now. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will reach down your hands to heal. I pray that you will minister to those who are hurting in the inward parts. Because of the lack of love, nobody has shown love to them. They feel unloved, they feel uncared for, and yet they are in the house. Great God Almighty, we pray for our brothers and sisters right now that the love of God will flow to them through other brothers and sisters. I pray that the love of God will abound, will flow strongly in our midst, and that your people will know that we love each other. We might not live at the same house, but we serve the same God. We are going to the same place. We have the same spirit inside of us, and we have the same mind in terms of winning the unsaved to God. And so we pray that the love of God will flow from each of us to our brother and to our sister. Oh, help us to be aware of this love and help us to let it flow and let it flow and let it flow. I pray especially for my brother right there, for my sister right there. They feel and love, oh, that the love of Almighty God will reach to them right now and that they will understand that God loves them. Saints of the Most High God, God loves you with an everlasting love. God loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Never doubt the love of God. It is rich. It is pure. It is measureless. It is strong. And he wants you to know that. And so we pray for you in Jesus' name. I pray for the unsaved in the house right now. Ah, uh, none is praying with some of them right now. They feel unloved. Out in the world, nobody cares for them. Nobody loves them. Some are coming into the house this morning, mighty God, because of a broken relationship and they feel neglected, but they are in the house for such a time as this. And I pray for the unsaved in the house right now. We want to speak into their spirits for them to understand that God loves them. We speak it into their spirit right now that they will understand that there are a set of people right now who love them. And so minister healing and let the love of God flow into their hearts right now. Thank you for what you're doing right now, mighty God. As we open these altars and as the unsafe come, let them feel you. Let them know more and more. Let them sense the love of God that is in the house. Let them sense it drawing nearer to them until they bow their knees and make it right with Almighty God. Thank you, God, again for your word. Thank you, mighty God, for your spirit in the house. Thank you for the deliverance that we are experiencing right now. Hallelujah. And I pray that you will hold us in the hollow of your hands, minister by your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Minister to these specific needs, 
to these special challenges as only you alone can. Know that your words have gone forth and have reached the hearts of men. There is something that only you alone can do, mighty God. And we call upon you right now and ask you and speak to the hearts of those that are here today. Let the love of God reach you. Let the love of God burst forth in your life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we count it done. Unsaved in the house. If you would just leave your seat right now, you're praying for an unsaved person. Just walk with them to these altars. You're praying for somebody right now without the Holy Ghost. Inquire. Inquire. And come with them to the altars. We want God to wrap up what he has started. And he's that, just that kind of God. The altars are open. Make your way down. You don't have the Holy Ghost. You therefore don't have the love of God. The altars are open. Come on. Sing us, will you come? We, we, we beseech you to come. God bless those that are coming. God bless those that are responding to the love of God. God bless those that are coming. But there, there are more. There are more. Won't you come? Won't you come? Won't you come? Come experience the love of God. Come experience the great God Almighty. And as they are coming, we ask the saints to look around. We want you to come praying with somebody. And they are coming. Hallelujah. The altars are still open. I'm pleading with somebody one more time. You have heard the word. You have heard the word. Come. 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 God bless these young men. They are coming. These ladies that have come. God bless you. God bless you. Saints of God, stand where you are. We ask some saints to come also. Come, let's, let's gather around. We're going to pray for some people here this morning. We're going to pray with some people that the love of God will be shed abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. We want you to pray with some folks at the altars who stepped out of the world and they, they don't even know why they left, but they feel unloved. Well, they are in a place where love is and we want to pray with them. Where are the saints of God? Will you two stand? And as many of us as can gather around these altars with them, won't you come? Brother, you're my sister. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So Come. take me by the hand. Oh. Together we will work until we go. Mighty God. There's no foe that can defeat us. Yes. When we're walking side by side. Oh, God. 
feel the love, just worship God and shout a hallelujah praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Oh God, the song just left us. Think about His love. Think about His goodness. Think about His grace that brought. 